In order to build an email marketing campaign, we have to create email templates that are used in that campaign. And what a template is, is a simple HTML or web page document that merges with your contact information and personalizes the email that goes to your recipients. To create those marketing templates is what they're called, we go to the marketing area. In our marketing area, you can see our template library and our image library right here under the quick jump categories. Now I mentioned the image library because our many web pages that we're developing, our templates, a lot of times are going to include images. And it's much easier to use images that are stored on our server than to actually have to load them up from your computer every time. So we have a library where you can load those images up ahead of time and then just use them right from the server. So when you click on image library you can see we have basically a, a folder structure, file system folder structure. And we can see we have one folder here called widgets. We're using the fake widget LLC company so that makes sense. To create new subfolders we just use this new subfolder button. In this instance for demo purposes I'm just going to load a new file. So when I click on new file it brings up an upload area. This file upload control is something you normally see on the internet. We have a lot of areas where you can upload information. Clicking on the browse button is going to allow you to browse your file system. In this case it brings up my admin training file system and I can choose the image I want to load which is our small logo. I choose open and it loads up that file. It's ready for upload. Of course I need to give this a name. We'll call it widgets LLC logo and that's pretty self descriptive so I don't really need to give it an extra description. I'll give it a type of logo and I'll go ahead and submit that for upload. Now you can see our widget LLC logo is part of our file structure. So that image is available on the server. The next thing we want to do is create some templates. Again I've created a widgets directory to keep all our templates organized. If you do a lot of marketing campaigns you're probably going to want to keep these organized by creating subfolders. In this case we're going to create a new thank you letter. So I open up this subfolder and you can see I have seven templates already in here. To create a new template I'm just going to click on create new and it brings up our template builder. The first thing we need to do is give our template a name. We'll call this thank you for your interest. This is going to be an HTML. Now you do have a choice of creating a text template. If you're going to send a simple text email you can do that. Description is required so I'm just going to copy that's control C and then control V and paste that into the description. Record type, we'll call this an announcement. Published. And then we'll go down to the email subject. Now this is what shows up in the email client. When I send this out to a recipient, they open up their Outlook system or their email and they see a from subject to. It'll be from you. It'll be the subject is what's going to be in this line here. So we want to make this subject relative to the body of the email. Okay, so we'll call this thank you for your interest in widgets LLC. And then you can see we're down in the area where we actually build the template. We have some merge keywords here. We use these keywords this exact phrasing to merge information from our contact database into the template. So if we wanted to use the contacts first name and last name we'd use these two tags. I'll demonstrate how we do that after I load up an image because we might need a header and a footer, maybe the logo, but a lot of times we want to include some kind of in image to start our template out. This simple editor will allow us to upload an image with the image button. So I click on the image button and you can see right here I have three tabs image info, upload, and advanced. Well for our purposes since I've already put the image in the image library I can just browse our server. And You can see here's our three images that were loaded up and say OK. So now we put our logo which was up here into our email. Now we can type our email Dear, and say we want the contact first name, last name. So we want to say Dear John Smith, Dear Jane Doe, 
all we have to do is highlight that tag, control C, then control V. You can see that put that tag right here. That'll be their first name. Okay, and then I'm gonna make sure there's a space. Put their last name. We do the same thing, control C, and then control V. So we have the contact, first name, contact, and that last name. And of course, we want a comma, because that's how you usually start a salutation. And we just say thank you for your recent inquiry. Helps if I spell correctly. Concerning our widgets. Okay, you can see this is a very simple email. Okay, and maybe we want to put a footer in here. Again, we can go ahead and put another picture in. We'll choose the footer this time, widget footer. Say OK. And now you can see we have our widgets header and our widget footer. And these can be any images that you want. Most companies have a standard set of images they use. Now we also said, please visit our website by clicking here. Well, that should be a link. So let me highlight that. And then let's come up here and we click on insert edit link. We'll just put in our widgets LLC website, which doesn't really exist. Okay, now that is a link. You can also do other things like make things bold or change the color or the font. We have the fonts make it big, format it, heading one, these are the different HTML headings. Our font, we have a, a limited set of fonts because these are pretty common across most computers. So we'll make that to Homa. If we want to make it bold, this is our toolbar for bold italic underline. So I made it bold. And if we want to change the size, make it medium. Text color, see the T with the color, make that orange. And there we can see the widgets LLC team is now a different color, different size. This works just like many other editors including Microsoft Word. Whatever you want to change you highlight it and then you click on the appropriate toolbar. Once you've finished your template, which is a very simple template right now, you can submit it and then you can see thank you for your interest shows up in our template library. Now this template is ready to go and ready to use in a marketing campaign.